you can use uh, two ways you can do it. One, you can use a font. So I'm just going to take the text tool, which is listed right here, and just click over here on the left part and hit the uh, letter S to make this. And I'm just going to drag this with the shift key held down and keeps it into the, uh, the style that you want. So just kind of placing the letter S right there. So it may not be the exact letter. So what we'll do is we'll take the character palette, window, uh, type character, and that's the character palette right here. And it also shows sometimes in the options panel, but I'm just going to click right into side here. And when you click in all the different uh, fonts, you can choose one or just click inside the font and use the arrow keys on the keyboard, and it'll go through the current listing of styles that you have. And so you can kind of get an idea of some of these of what, it, what it's kind of looking like. So depending on the style, at least the looks, so I'm just going to pick one that's relatively close to it. I'll use that one. And depending on your interpretation of this, I'm just going to grab the corner, and you can see it distorts the type a little bit. So it puts it into pretty much the close, close proximity to it. Now, <clears throat> this uh, font, uh, when you take a look at it, it doesn't have the styles to make it any thicker or build it up so I, I might have to stay with that. And what I usually do is put an option, mix a copy of it, and just set it off to the side and click back on this one. In case I mess, mess up, I always have the copy that I can just grab at. So the type panel goes what they call create outlines, and I'm just moving it around so you can see it. And it turns the type into a shape. So now this is no longer editable um, as a type face, it's now a shape. Uh, so when you click on it, it has the stroke or the fill. You can grab a color to it to see it on there so you can get an idea. And for example, I may want to make this thicker. So <clears throat> you can do that. You can go to Object Path and uh, offset the path. And this is in inches, so this isn't uh, so good. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to go to View and go to Rulers and show the rulers. And I right-click. There's a ruler guide at the top and on the left side. So I'm going to right-click on this and change this to points. So now the unit of measure will be a lot finer uh, in points than in inches because it's dealing with the fractions. So now I go to Object Path and offset the path. And now you can see it's in points. So I'm going to hit Preview. And it's at minus 6, so it made it a little bit smaller. Here I'm going to click on it and go to the plus side of it, so make it a little bit thicker, like that. And click OK, and, and give this a color. So you can see that there's there was an offset and a letter in front of it, and one on top of it. So with the direct selection tool, I'm going to click on this one and just delete it. So now I have this this shape. The next part is he has a rectangular piece, so I'm just going to take the rectangle tool and draw a box that fits that piece. I'll give that a different color just so you can see it. So it's two pieces on top. If they were both the same color, you could say I'm all done. But sometimes you want it to be one piece, and there's a tool listed here. It looks like a sideways two-ball two snowman. It's called the Shape Builder tool, and it turns a plus sign and when I click and drag, it goes and collects everything together. And I click over this way and grab that one. So now this is, is treated as one, one image. <clears throat> so it's a lot of new things. So as you take a look at it, that's, that's probably one of the easiest ways to make the letter S, just use one font that's already there. If you didn't and it was a different shape, I'm just going to use the pen tool. And I'll switch this so the color is there. I'm going to make the color just a little darker. And now when I take the pen tool and click in the midpoint of this letter S, I'm kind of looking at that section down here. So I'm trying to look at the middle part of it. So for example, say this was a little more of a freeform shape, clicking and dragging the handles, holding the shift key out, and coming right back up here to, to set that piece. Now, Again, command key lets me click and click off of everything and bring me back 
or just go to the selection tool. So this one, <coughs> with the stroke panel opened up, I'm just going to make this thickness a little bigger. So I like to click inside the numbers and use the arrow key, that way I can just look at the screen. Otherwise I'm trying to click the button and I can't see what's happening on the screen. So you can see I didn't do the best job of the curve, but I can always go back to this and just click on the points. In fact, I'll, I'll give that a different color. And I can, using the direct selection handle, I can modify these points. So the pen tool is like everything in all the different softwares is using this, this tool. So that gives me that selection. Here's the rectangle. And draw this across. Now you can see it's, it's switched to the path, so I'm going to switch that back. So now it's just the fill. And I'll give that a different color so you can see it. Oops, wrong. Make sure I have the fill highlighted. And then grab the color. So the only thing about blending these two together is this is still just a stroke, the letter S. So I'm going to go to Object, and this time under Path, instead of Offset, I'm just going to outline it, and it becomes one solid shape. So now I have two pieces. I just select them by either drawing a box around both of them and selects them because the, the background layer is hidden. And then just do the same thing. Easiest is to just click and drag this together. And now I have this logo done like that. And again, it's, it's not difficult. Just You're just getting used to the software, so that's all that's going to be the problem. So I subtract it a little bit, maybe move this out of the way. And again, I was hiding all the windows for it so that I could uh, take a picture of this. But again, if there's enough white space around it, I can just zoom in. I'm going to hide the rulers just to section that off. Make sure everything's there and just command shift four, a crosshair or registration for the uh, picture. And you take a look whenever you move it, it's telling, telling me the numbers of where it's located on the screen. And just go ahead and click that right there. I click on the Command tab, and it lets me go through all the softwares here. Here's the um, picture for it. I just go to the desktop. The last picture I took is right there. Go click the spacebar. I can see where it's at, and just upload that picture.